Hello and welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. I've got a oak table here, uh, turn of the century uh, Victorian uh, with a lion's paw feet. Uh, it's a very large table. Um, has uh, seven leaves that go in it. And the uh, slides are broken and need to be replaced. As you can see right here, these uh, slides uh, are coming loose and popping out. They're also very loose and wiggly. And some of the wooden uh, pegs that act as stops are missing. While I was looking up uh, slides for this uh, to replace it, I could only find uh, one pair that was available uh, to uh, work with this table that, that opens this far. And I discovered uh, these slides are probably modified to uh, stretch out farther than they're supposed to. Uh, these are 26 inches long. And the slides that I looked up that are 26 inches long are only meant to open up about 60 inches. And this uh, table was opening up to over 75 inches. Uh, it has to open up uh, more than 75 to get all seven leaves in. So these were probably modified to stretch out farther, and that's probably why they're failing. These uh, stops are missing and stuff. Now these are the new slides. They're uh, 40 inches long, and they're made to open up to a 100-inch opening. So that's more than adequate to satisfy the uh, about 75-inch opening that we need. They're a little bit deeper than the originals. So we're going to have to do a little modifying to the table uh, to make these work. Here's a close-up of one of these slides um, that came loose. They have a little washer that slides in there and they're completely worn out. And you can see a split right here. Here are these uh, pegs that uh, some of these were missing. One of the rails had a, a very bad split right down the middle. Of it. Okay, I'm just doing a, a quick fit check with the legs. Uh, they're just a separate assembly that uh, bolts on. And when I picked up this table, these uh, nuts were almost completely uh, off. Uh, the whole table was just wobbling all over the place. I'm surprised the whole table just didn't even fall apart. They had this uh, table stretched out the full width. Uh, I was just amazed it uh, didn't even fall apart when uh, having a holiday dinner. Uh, but I'm doing a fit check right now. Um, these slides go right underneath this uh, board and the new slides are, are taller so I'm gonna have to uh, raise the legs a little bit raise this up do something to uh, modify this and if there's enough there to catch the threads I can just uh, maybe put a shim right there do something to uh, raise the legs a little bit. it's gonna raise the table up a little bit and also all these uh, mounting blocks are completely loose. So I'm going to have to take these off and uh, just uh, redo the glue blocks and uh, tighten these up. And I'll start by taking these old ones off. There's only two screws. Which is amazing. And before I take them off, I'm just going to uh, put a light pencil on just for a reference. So I know. Okay, took, just took this one off on the other side here. And here's the one with the bad split right down the middle. All right, I'm going to check those uh, reference lines I made and just make sure they're square. Now getting the uh, slides set up. I cleaned up the bottom of the table with the random orbit sander, just cleaning up any glue. All right, sliding the other one into place. Make sure it's lined up with the reference line. And mark out the holes. Then pre-drill the holes. Okay, I'm going to take the screw gun and just get the screws started. I don't want to drive them down with the screw gun. I want to drive them in by hand. 
and I've got my hand underneath on the top of the table feeling for any possible protrusion of the screw. If I feel anything poking through, I'm going to stop. Uh, these slides do not come with screws, so I had to very carefully measure and got some inch and three quarter number 10 Phillips head wood screws. Now just a, a quick check, make sure everything slides correctly. Okay, now I'm test fitting the legs again. Um, need a little bit of space uh, between the board and the runners here. And right now I've got uh, maybe about 5 sixteenths right here. So I'm going to raise this up a little bit so we got like about an eighth of an inch clearance. And I think it'll be about 7 sixteenths of an inch I have to shim up. Okay, what I think I'm going to do here is glue an extra piece on the bottom of these blocks. Raise the entire block up. That way we've got the full threads on these uh, bolts. Alright, I've got the uh, mounting box back in place. I've got the 7 16 inch uh, filler piece on the bottom here. And then I drilled a 7 16 inch countersink uh, to use the same screws and a 7 16 inch deep to compensate for the thickness of this uh, filler. So the same screws went right back in the same holes. And then uh, later on I'll put the, uh, all the glue blocks back in. Now I'm doing a final uh, fit up on the legs. I've got them all bolted in. We've got our clearance. Now the next thing is to uh, fit up the center leg. That's going to need a little bit of uh, shimming up as well. And uh, just as before, it screws into one of these uh, rails. And it just happens to be the thickness of a piece of quarter inch plywood. Okay, just getting the uh, leg centered up. And I want to make sure it's on the same rail on each side. It's the third rail in. The old screw holes happen to just line right up. Now I got the shims placed. My hands were getting sore from driving all those screws in. So I switched to the impact driver to drive these in. And I ran into a little loops right here uh, and over torqued the screws, trying to tighten them all the way. And but they both snapped off on this one side. Now one of them is broke off flush and the other one I could grab with the pliers and back it out. I've got the awl placed in the other hole and I decided to move the other hole over just a little bit to avoid the broken screw. And I decided to go with some longer Phillips screws. But I was driving those in and they felt like they were going to break. So I backed those out. And I found some other screws that were similar in length to the original ones, and they worked a lot better. Now I'm going to flip the table over and test everything out. Okay there, I got the table rolled over, I'm doing a uh, test run, and everything worked uh, perfectly. And since the slides have a, a camber built into them, the leg is going to be a little bit off the floor, which is not a problem. 
any weight will kind of sink down and that'll settle in. Now I've got it opened up to about 82 inches, which is more than enough to get uh, the seven leaves in. And as long as everything looks good, I'll go back under and put all those uh, glue blocks in. And the table height ended up at about uh, 30 and 3 eighths. Now I've got it flipped back over and I'm putting all the glue blocks in. And finally got the table moved to get it set up in the customer's home. Now it looks fantastic. Got all seven leaves back in and there's room for more leaves so they ordered two more leaves.